Good day to all, my name is Mark, and today I am back with another video. This time, it's going to be on short-term planning. It's, it's a, I guess you could call that philosophy, short-term um, uh, outlooks and whatnot, but I think it's just short-term planning for now. I, I, I characterize this video as that. So, during my... Uh, so this is pretty much related to transfers and how you deal with uh, with players in the in the in your first season of management, and it covers yeah the ideas of stability, which I mentioned in the last video about the status quo and maintaining that, just to see where your club's at. Um, and I did that for the most part this season or the first season. In the second season, I started pumping in all of the players that I thought would do well. And most of them do, did do well and later left. So, short-term planning. And if you if you follow real-life football, um, like such as the Premier League or the Bundesliga and various other leagues, you will understand what's going on for the most part if you watch and follow, or at least look at their past like couple seasons and see what you can understand from that. So, so the short term um, out thinking would be to transfer really good players and hopefully they'll do well. And that's what Manchester United, uh, not United, Manchester City is probably one of the prime examples of the, in the Premier League. They do a lot of transfers and this season is no exception. Uh, they, they pumped, they threw so much money out, like an insane amount for uh, De Bruyne. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne from Wolfsburg, uh, what's his name, I don't remember his first name, Sterling, what is his first name, I don't remember his first name, but it's Sterling, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's, I can look it up right now, uh, who else is there, oh, uh, Octomendi, Otamendi, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Raheem Sterling, there you go, yeah, he left, <laughs> and the save, he stayed at Liverpool, nice guy. Um, unfortunately, in the real world, he was adamant on leaving, so he left. Who else did they sign? I think that's it. Those are the big name transfers that Man City signed. They're they're a prime example of short term thinking, um, or they or short term planning, where where they just focus on buying the best players. Um, some of them are kind of middle aged, except for Sterling, I think. Sterling and De Bruyne, they're kind of. They're kind of marching up the ladder in age, but they're not they are not that old. I think Altamendi's kind of old. I'm not sure how old he is. He's probably mid-20s. So, I mean, maybe he's past his mid-20s. I don't know. Off the top of my head. But, yeah, you want to you wanna think not just short-term. You're going to try to think long-term, which I think no team. And I mean, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the academy teams like uh, Southampton from... Uh, the English Premier League, um, in France, Olympic Lyon, those guys seem to be investing, or used to invest in an academy, which seems to be producing really good talent. Who else is there? Um, in Spain, uh, Barcelona seems to be, their academy seems to be pretty good, although they sold a couple of their players, their academy products, so it's hard to say what type of path they're on. Um, Barcelona, I think, traditionally has been a long-term, uh, long-term like outlook type of club where they invest a lot in their academy, and the academy usually does produce some some talent. I mean, of course, they produce talent. I mean, Messi was from Barcelona's academy. I think Xavi was also from there. Um, Iniesta. So a lot of players, a lot of their core players are definitely from Barcelona. And their and its academy. Um, but yeah, another another prime exam. Uh, I guess a foil to that or an opposite would be Real Madrid. No academy whatsoever, at least not now. The, no products besides uh, Odegaard. I don't think even. I think he he has been at the academy, but I don't think he's an original academy player. Um, Real Madrid's also very short term, I believe. I would say. I mean. They buy a whole bunch of players. I wouldn't say they're old, but they they bought. Was it Rodriguez? Was it? I don't remember his name. Yeah, Hamas Rodriguez. Bale. I think Bale was kind of young when he joined. Um, who else is there? Don't remember. I mean, there is Ronaldo, but he's kind of old. I mean, he's not too old. He'll, he'll probably have a couple a couple seasons at his peak. But yeah, for the most part, short term.
I don't believe in short term the philosophy. It doesn't. I don't believe it works. But I mean, the real world, it's a whole different story, and they and some teams get away with it, and they don't get punished. Maybe it, maybe it take like a decade or something before they get punished for it, but it just doesn't look like it to me. Probably the status quo of every league is just too overpowered. <laughs> and then again, it is overpowered. But yeah. I mean, another example would be in uh, Ch uh, in the England in, in in the Premier League again. Um, Chelsea is a prime example. They 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 all their start all their first team players are not are not academy players. I mean, now w once they hit the rough stretch, they they're starting to introduce more uh, academy players like Loftus Cheek. He's definitely a uh, at least from what I've read, he seems to be a really talented uh, physical player anyway. So hopefully their academy players get some get get chances, which would be nice to be honest. Um, the rich boys aren't really cutting it anymore, <laughs> although they did well. I mean, cha in the Champions League start, but their uh, but their start to the 15-16 season hasn't uh, isn't too hot. But yeah, I I I unfortunately I mean not unfortunately but I lean towards uh, long term. Out, a long-term outlook philosophy where I go I go look for younger players and do my best to train them up and give them chances all my signings for the most part are aimed towards the future like you can look at it now there's some French guys that I saw that were pretty cool um, pretty talented guys um, Raffaele I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know I don't know French it sounds like an Italian name too um, Genovese from Toulouse Another decent play. I think I went over this. I don't remember. But uh, first touch 10, heading 10, passing, tackling 10, 11 marking. Seems to be a, a one, a, maybe a uh, potential center defensive midfielder type. Not really good strength wise, but decent pace for a 15 year old. Um, 14 stamina. I mean, very, very decent for a young teenager. Um, hopefully he becomes great, although I need to wait one more year before he shows up. Let's look at his report. Yeah, I said to be world class. Like that's that's the real deal. High work rate, relishes big matches, lacks some strength. What are you gonna do? It's all right. Um, Bogari Sissoko. He's from Racing Club Lens. I uh, how much money did I crank dump? Seven million. Um, Physic physically very deep, very strong, very determined player. Um, what else is there? He's a good leader. No, he's decent. I mean, for good, an 18 year old, he's a pretty decent leader. A lot of yellow stats. Um, not yellow, but orangey stats. Uh, I just have a preference towards not looking at all green. Like, the, or the orange stats used to be green, light green, which really pissed me off since I couldn't tell whether it was... Uh, different from the 20s or the 16s I mean so change that up so physically speaking he's very solid good player though he's injured right now and for some reason they still haven't accepted my transfer bid which is really pissing me off but I think I sent in the bid uh what day was that oh I sent it in I sent it in the same game day oh uh, then again this profile I mean this uh, save hasn't moved for a while so yeah, I always aim towards the future. Youngsters, that's what I'm talking about. It's like in my under-19s, I have Lezavresky, um, Clement Legal, who else is there? And then uh, Mitchell Visser. Um, in my second team, I don't really have any real regions. They're all like fakes besides Cuevas and uh, Muller. I always aim, always aim to look for the best young players. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. I'll discuss more about that uh, long-term outlook next time. It'll be a really good contrast, in my opinion. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you learned something, or whether you approve or disapprove of my opinion, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Subscribe to YouTube channel if you're new. Two links below, Facebook and Twitter. Follow me there. You will always get updates. Thanks for watching, everyone. Love you all, and I'll see you all next week.